Hi, I'm Ann Messerschmidt, the Environmental Resources Specialist with the City of Lakeville, and we're here to talk today about the Minnesota Noxious Weed List, and specifically common teasel as well as cutleaf teasel. Common teasel and cutleaf teasel are fairly similar in appearance with their flowers. They have an egg-shaped flower that is either purple to white, and they kind of flower not like regular thistle does, which is all at once. It's more in like layers on the flower head. So the common teasel has leaves that start as a basal rosette the first year. They're about three inches wide and hairless. They have a wavy edged margin. The central vein of this plant is whitish and it has stout prickles below. The flower of the common teasel can be up to four inches tall and one and a half inches wide and can vary from white to purple. It also seems to flower not all at once. It has like lines of flowering along the flower head. Common teasel flowers from the beginning of June all the way to the end of October. So it is a very long flowering season. So cut leaf teasel also starts as a basal rosette. It has lobed or cut leaves. As the plant bolts the second year, it can get to two to seven feet tall, a very tall plant, much taller than a thistle, and it can form a cup shape around the main stem. Like the common teasel, the cutleaf teasel's flower is about four inches tall and one and a half inches wide and does the irregular flowering from white to lavender. The bloom time for cutleaf teasel is July to September, so a little bit shorter than the other teasel. Both of these plants flower just one time and then they're dead. So the management is possible and the more we know about this plant early on, the quicker we'll be able to eradicate it. So if you see these plants out in the field, take pictures of the flowers, stems, and leaves and send them to environmental at lakevillemn.gov. Or you can give me a call at 952-985-4528.